Hello everyone. Welcome to MS Apti webcast. In this video, we are going to see the steps on how to set up the Microsoft Authenticator app for Azure Active Directory user account. The Microsoft Authenticator app provides an additional level of security to your Azure Active Directory account and is available for both Android and iOS devices. You can set up Microsoft Authenticator app to send a notification to your mobile device or to send you a verification code as your security verification method. This is useful when you are using Azure Active Directory multi-factor authentication to protect your Azure Active Directory user account. We can also use Microsoft Authenticator app as an additional verification option during self-service password reset. To set up the Microsoft Authenticator app, you need to sign in to your My Account portal using your Azure Active Directory user account. You can access it using the URL https colon double slash myaccount.microsoft.com. So let's type the URL https colon double slash myaccount.microsoft.com and let's press enter key. Let's sign in with test user one's credential. So let's enter the username which is user2 at msaptwebcaster.onmicrosoft.com Let's click next, enter the user password and click on sign in. As you can see, we have accessed the user account of taste user2 and this is his username. Let's click on security info on left side. If you have already registered, you will be prompted for two-factor verification. Under security info, we can see we haven't defined any additional methods here. So click on add method in the security info page to define new method for authentication. On the add a method page, click on drop down arrow and select Authenticator app from the list. Then select Add. You aren't required to use Microsoft Authenticator app and you can select a different app during the setup process. If you want to use an Authenticator app other than Microsoft Authenticator app, then select I want to use a different Authenticator app option. However, in this video, we will use the Microsoft Authenticator app. Click next. Set up your account. So you need to open the Microsoft Authenticator app on your mobile phone. So let's open Microsoft Authenticator app on my mobile phone. The first time you set up the Microsoft Authenticator app on your phone, you might receive a prompt asking whether to allow the app to access your camera on iOS or to allow the app to take pictures and record video on Android. You must select allow so the authenticator app can access your camera to take picture of the QR code in the next step. On Microsoft Authenticator app on your phone, select add account. Then select work or school account option. You will have two options on add work or school account, sign in and scan QR code. Leave the Microsoft Authenticator app and return to the set up your account page on your computer. Here, click next. The scan the QR code page appears. Scan the provided code with the Microsoft Authenticator app QR code reader which appeared on your mobile device. So you need to click on scan QR code option and then you need to scan the code which is available on your computer. Let's scan the code. After the successful scanning of the QR code, the Authenticator app should successfully add your account without requiring any additional information from you. However, if the QR code reader can't read the code, 
you can select can't scan the QR code and manually enter the code and URL into the Microsoft Authenticator app. In our case, as you can see, the user account has been added successfully on Microsoft Authenticator app. Select next on the scan the QR code page on your computer. A notification is sent to the Microsoft Authenticator app on your mobile device to test your account. Here we need to approve the notification in the Microsoft Authenticator app to approve the sign in for our user, user2. So I'm going to tap on approve. And then it will ask us to confirm your sign in with the biometric or passcode on your mobile device. Let me enter the passcode on my device. And then on your computer, the process will finish and you will see notification approved. Your security info is updated to use the Microsoft Authenticator app by default to verify your identity when using two-step verification or password reset. Click next to finish the process. We can see a notification here. Microsoft Authenticator app was successfully registered and here we can see the timestamp. On the security info page, now you can see Microsoft Authenticator method is listed and that we can verify here. You can also change your default sign-in methods and for that you need to click on set default sign-in method. Let me click on it. And from this drop down arrow, you need to select the method which you want to use as a default method. I'm going to cancel it. So now this user can successfully sign in to his account using the Microsoft Authenticator app without any issue. So that concludes the video on how to set up the Microsoft Authenticator app for Azure Active Directory user account. Thank you all for watching this video. Have a nice day.